Hello everyone, today I am playing Legends of Rune Terror, The Path of Champions. I've been no lifing this at the moment, I'm playing like 2-3 hours a day, it's so much fun. It's basically like an offline duels in Legends of Rune Terror. It can be a little intimidating at first, but bear with me and I'm going to try and slowly explain things as we go. If there's anything you don't understand, do not worry, I will eventually explain it, I just don't want to like information overload you immediately so the champion i'm showcasing is going to be kaisa her whole her whole deck is around just getting all the keywords in the game so i figure that's a pretty good uh champion type to try and show a new person the game so by keywords i mean thinking hearthstone of divine shield life steal rush charge that sort of stuff so in rune terra the whole deck building thing is very different they have regions so this one is shurma that's basically like class type so warrior uh, warlock etc etc but in rune terra you can multi-class everything together so whatever two classes you want to put together you can do that and then the champion is like a really powerful card that you build your deck around and then when you meet meet those requirements they level up into a sort of win condition so kaisa for example deals damage to the enemy equal to however many keywords she has but less explaining more playing we're going to jump straight in so always your first thing you get is a power basically like your passive treasure in duels we've got game start summon everstein disciple which is a really lame one one so we don't want that they also have treasure rarity as you do in duels allies with equipment or attachments have plus two plus two that is actually pretty good but we do not have a deck that is going to have equipment or attachments now you can select treasures like this and then try and build your deck towards it with a bit of rng luck but i am not going to do that because i'm trying to showcase and explain rules to you so i feel like this would just make things mega complicated and we have game start draw 2 which honestly is not bad but i'm gonna reroll reroll again Ooh, slow but steady when you play a solo spell copy onto the same target so we can get double slow spells do i have slow spells in this deck I do, I have Void Seeker which deals damage. This is not a slow spell, this is a focus spell. I will explain what these all these things mean. I'm sure it's uh, all a lot to take in at once. Again, it's intimidating, but stick with me. I'm telling you, it's so much fun. Especially if you enjoy duels, 100% guarantee you will enjoy this. Now, we do not actually have a deck that can support this, which is why I think we got it. They usually give you treasures that your deck doesn't actually support because otherwise it, number one it'd be too strong but number two so you can build into it sort of thing and then it will be strong it just adds to the um, fun element so i'm going to take this and i'm going to try and build into that because if you do do build into that that can be super strong now we're going to our first fight so all the fights are ai and they are actually pretty tough i'll be honest with you the ai in this game is actually pretty good it does even make some mistakes sometimes which i kind of like um You'll have little ordinary fights like this and then you'll have boss fights which are mega hard like actually mega hard right so you'll notice here all my cards just got discounted or maybe you didn't notice because why would you so every opponent you face will have their own um abilities so this guy has whenever he attacks he summons an ephemeral spiderling which is just a one one pretty mediocre on the ability to be honest with you Ephemeral essentially means that it only lasts one round. If you attack with it, it dies. If you don't attack with it, it still dies. And then he also has each round the player's first Shurima card. So remember Shurima is basically my class. They call it region in this game. The little um, sun up here. First Shurima card costs one less to play, which is very good for us because our entire deck is Shurima. And we have our two abilities. We have the slow but steady, which we picked at the start. And then we also have every champion has their own passive ability that's constantly uh, available. So for her, we have, for Kaisa, we have from Prey to Predator. Round start, if I have the attack token, my strongest ally gets a random positive keyword. So you'll see that go off next round. If I play this, this has play predict, which lets me choose the next card I draw. When we look ahead, <clears throat> we know how to prepare. And then he attacks and we block. So my ability says when I have the attack token. So this way this works is each round it alternates between attacking and defending. So he was attacking, now he's defending. I was defending, now I'm attacking. 
minions. And also I got a random keyword, so I got spell shield, which means the next spell against this minion is negated. I'm just going to play this 3-3. Three, three. So what he does, he plays this arachnoid horror. It has fearsome, pretty lame keyword, honestly. It means if he attacks with it, I can only block it with something that has three attack or more. It's kind of like a anti-aggro keyword, I guess, to try and get through aggro decks with lots of minions with your big boys. This not so scary though. Thankfully, I have a spell which gives him minus two, zero, minus two attack, and it also gets vulnerable. Vulnerable means I can force it to block a minion. So, for example, if I give this vulnerable, now normally when you attack. You just press attack and then the opponent chooses what blocks what. But if it has vulnerable, I can do this. And I can force him to either take this damage or he blocks with his 1-1. One, one, and he blocks with his 1-1. One, one. Boom. Boom. Very good. A lot of Runeterra. A, a difference to Hearthstone is a lot of... Well, actually, that's not, I wouldn't even say that's a difference. It's a similarity. It's a lot of it's about board control. Having the bigger minions. Um, the aggro decks would just go for like what this guy's doing and just trying to play loads of minions and the control decks will usually have big late game minions that just have swing effects and swing turns etc etc all right um we're just gonna play a boy so if you notice there's a, a little thing here that i don't even know if i should explain because i think it will maybe get too complicated so he's attacking and then i get to pick my blockers i obviously have nothing that can block this without dying so i I would normally not block that, but because I want to take as less damage as possible, reason being is that your health does not heal in this game. You maintain the health you have until you get to the first boss. There's two bosses, I think, in this run. Some but some runs have three, some runs have four even. And the, the only time your health will heal to full is when you get to the boss and defeat him. And there's also these little healing things you can randomly get along the way but they only heal like seven hp so long story short is i want to block this but i can't because my minions do not have three or more attack so i have to take this damage basically feels bad man and now that he's attacked he's got no mana i know that i can basically just prepare to immediately attack next turn so i'm gonna play a void link see if i can get into them big can't play that unfortunately so let's create a lucky find in my hand and a lucky find gives me a random buff pick a buff from three to give to an ally i can give him quick attack which means he can attack before he attacks back so my cards do not take damage unless they have more hp in which case they survive the quick attack and then hit back i hope this is this is going to be very wordly wordy but I'm gonna try I'm trying to be <laughs> as less wordy as possible. And then we have Challenger, which is quite similar to Vulnerable. Uh, uh, basically, you choose what this card bl blocks. You force something to block this card essentially. Uh, I'm going to take plus zero plus no, I'm gonna take quicker deck. Because my deck is all about getting keywords. Something I haven't even explained to you, which has been right staring us right in the face, is this evolve. Now this is a unique keyword to this deck type. Think like outcast for demon hunter like you'll only ever see that in demon hunter you wouldn't see that in any other class similar sort of thing you'll only see this keyword with this champion essentially when i have played six unique keywords all my minions then have plus two plus two which is very nice actually so look it says four out of six keywords here this guy has a keyword i haven't played yet which is overwhelm any excess damage is dealt to the enemy so if i play this it will now say 5 out of 6 keywords, there you go. I was thinking for a second there, what, why is it not updating? That's fine. And now, next time I play Payday, I presumably all my cards will become very big. So because I know my cards are literally about to get plus 2, plus 2, except this guy, because he doesn't have Evolve. He's not he's not like a part of the deck, I guess. He's from a different deck that they've just shoved in here. I'm going to pass. Pass again. And then he gets his attack phase, and I go into my defend phase. And we level up. Hopefully, I mean, we might get a, a thingy we don't have yet, maybe. So we've got create a challenger. I don't actually need it, but I'll take it just so that I fulfill the requirements of Evolve. And there you go, everything gets 2 plus 2 plus 2, and now we should pretty much be winning. It's also activated effect on this, which is... 
that once I've once I've reached six out of six keywords, it does two more damage, which is quite nice. It means we can kill this guy. I think it's a good point as well to explain why some some spells say slow, some say focus, some say burst. I think it was the one I played that said focus. This said focus. Okay. All right, strap yourselves in. This is a, a bit of a longer one to explain. So there's four spell types. There's slow. There is fast. There is burst. And there is focus. Okay. Slow is pretty simple. You play it. You say it's similar to the attacking phase. You play it. You commit. And then the opponent gets a react phase. So with slow spells. Oh, it's a slow spell. So it went off twice. Oh my god. I could have killed some of these a long time ago. I forgot about our passive. You play it and the enemy gets a react phase. So maybe they'll have something that gives this plus two, plus five health or something. And then it'll survive the hit that they'll want to play. Um, and they can react to that. Now, slow spells you cannot play during a react phase. So if he had a slow spell that gave this plus four health, he would not be able to. This is only, only slow spells can do this. The next one is fast. Fast is similar in, to the slow spell where the opponent gets a react phase. But fast spells you can also play during your react phase. So slow, slow spells you cannot play in your react phase. Fast spells you can play in your react phase. Also when you're at, when someone attacks. So if he attacks me right now. I don't think he is going to attack me though. Oh he is. So this is a. As well as being able to choose what I block with. It's also react phase. So if I had a fast spell I could play it. But if I had a slow spell I could not play it. None of this is like official wording by the way. This is just stuff I've made up. I don't know what people actually use. So, um. Fast spells you can play in this phase, slow spells you cannot, right? The next spell type is burst. Now burst just does has no react phase. And you can play it any time that you're able to play cards, you can play it. You obviously can't play during the opponent's turn. But let's say right now I had a burst spell that said give this plus two plus two. I could just play it. And it'd get plus two plus two. And the opponent would not be able to then be like, oh no, this is about to die. I'm gonna give this more health because it's burst. It does not give him a react phase. Like even if I played a fast spell right now, it would then give him another phase of rea to react to that before he commits. But a burst spell does not do that. <clears throat> and then let's say like right now, if I play a minion, that's my turn over. But if it's a burst spell, I could play it, get the buff, and then I'd still be able to take the rest of my turn. Let's just predict this. Take our champion. We always want that. And then the last spell type is Focus. Now, Focus is similar to Burst in that it goes off immediately. However, you cannot use it during React Phase. So React Phase, it cannot be used. I think that's the only difference. Yeah, basically, yeah, you just can't use it during React Phases. So you base it's just for playing on your turn only. Okay, we, our champion's leveled up. Her condition for leveling up is that I've evolved, which I have. And now we're going to see an awesome animation play. Kadoosh, all these champions have their own backstories and cool effects. So her effect is if you have the attack token, which we do, she gives you a second skin in hand. Second skin means she copies another ally's positive keywords. So I'm going to take probably this guy because he has overwhelm, which will just let us kill the opponent here. Even if he blocks, he will still have to take the damage. So normally when you block, you take no damage, but if, an, if a minion has overwhelm, you'll take that damage, basically. And he's dead. We win. <clears throat> I, de I mean, ideally, I should wait here to try and get life still as a keyword. Some basically, same thing as half stone. It'll heal me. But I'm only 5 HP. Wait, I haven't taken damage, I don't think. No, I haven't taken a bit. I think I can only heal like 5 HP, so it's not that deep. And we get victory screen. Very nice, very happy. Much good. Yeah, they're just daily quests and stuff to earn XP. Well, bam. Lovely. And after every fight, you get a card. So I can add more of these. I don't really like these. We could give allies plus four, plus four this round and rally. Now, ordinarily, I would say this is not good because it costs nine mana. But... We have a treasure that doubles our slow spell. So this gives our minions plus eight, plus eight. 
and then we rally, which is kind of insane. And you'll probably have no idea what I'm talking about because you're like, what the hell is rally? So rally basically gives you an attack token. So if you're in your defend phase, you can then turn that into an attacking phase by playing, giving yourself rally. Or if you've already attacked this turn and you play a card that gives you rally, it'll then give you a second attack this turn. It's very strong. You're very it, anytime a card has give you rally, it's got some insane requirement on it or extremely high mana cost, sort of like a game winning effect, sort of uh, swing sort of effect. Now it's a bit risky putting that in because the odds with with your decks, you want to sort of build them to defeat the bosses. Here's the boss, the first boss here. That's one of the other champions. You kind of want to build your deck to defeat them. And I know this guy is aggro, so I need a strong early game. But I've just taken a late game card, which is maybe a risk. But it might definitely help me against the littler fights where they do tend to go a bit longer. Okay, now we get to uh, get another champion. The first four battles in any run are always the same. You get power, fight, and then a champion. So... We got Zoe, she's a little 1-1, one, 1-mana one, one 1-1. One, one. She levels up off of seeing me play 10 cards with different names, which is not hard to be honest with you. She kind of could fit into every deck. And Nexus Strike is an effect that when they damage the hero, they, they do whatever that effect is. So she gives you a super cool start chart when you attack the opponent, which gives you a random spell. So she's basically just all about generating random spells and playing random spells. And then when she levels up, I really oh one thing I really love about Rune Terror I think they should implement in Hearthstone is they have this little eye in the corner and if you click it you can see the full card art with the frigging card text no more need for deck tracker beautiful and then when she levels up she gives you when you when you summon an ally grant its keyword to all allies there is actually some synergy there with our deck given that we have keyword stuff go onings but i also have insider knowledge that this champion is really strong so this is morgana she has lies still i think literally that's just what makes her strong and her effects pretty good basically she's all about shackling your opponents shackles is like a um, it's like a warlock curse from hearthstone but it just makes her units unable to makes people's units unable to unable to attack until they spend the mana to make it attack it's quite an annoying playstyle, but her, her life still makes her really strong, honestly. But I don't know if I'm going to take it now. I might take Zoe, given that I, I just like the randomness. And then finally, we have Kane. Um, he levels up. When you've struck ties, I level up and recall me. So this guy is very much for decks that build themselves about recalling their units. I'm not going to go into that. That's a whole other story. So we're not even going to bother with looking at that guy. So between these two... Don't really like Zoe's other cards. Ooh, this is a... This is slow and this is slow. Ooh, la la. Okay, I'm going to take Zoe. I don't think she's that strong, but she gives us early game. And I think early game is probably better. I also know that the boss in this, the first boss in this is all about casting spells. So Morgana would be useless against him. So I'm going to take Zoe. And that's our champion. Now you'll see all these are locked. These were previously locked, you may have noticed, and now they've changed to something. So these are random. They're little stops in between the enemies. Every time you fire an enemy, you'll get one of these random choices. So this one is an item chest. They'll attach an item to a card. This was something that I was uh, hesitant to explain to you for a reason of being overcomplicated, but I think I will now. You see, remember I showed you this and I said, oh, look at that. And then I said, my God, that's complicated. I'm not even going to go into that. You see that it's on a bunch of cards. So items are basically little bonus effects that you can put on cards. This this one has giant belt. This one has give me augment and becomes tech. Tech is like a minion type. Augment is another keyword that whenever you play a card that didn't start in your deck, it gets plus one attack. And this guy has when I'm summoned, draw one. So you may be wondering how have I got these items on these cards? That is a whole other mechanic, which is called leveling up your champion. You'll notice my champion is level five. So as you, I've basically done this run about five, four times before, and I've died at this boss every time. But from that, I've got XP, which has leveled up my champion. And if it will let me go into this, 
It will not. Oh, actually, I can just show you the champion screen because you can return to menu whenever the hell you like and just carry on your run. You don't have to do it all at once. Actually, if I go here, this is the champion screen. You can see here there is a whole host of wonderful champions to play from. They all have their own super unique play style. We've got Misfortune, for example, is super aggro. Whenever allies attack, they are one to the enemy. And then she has all of her stuff that supports that. You have Timo who plants poison into the enemy's deck and they die from drawing cards. We have Ash who makes all the enemies have zero attack and it's very annoying. Morgana, Shackles, as I've explained. You have Yasuo who stuns enemies so they can't attack. And then we have Kaisa who I'm currently playing. Here's her relic slots. I'm actually going to change her relic right now so you can see how that works. Here's a relic slot. And when she gets level 13, she unlocks another one. And I want to swap this. I don't actually want it. It's not going to happen for our current run, but for our next run. So here you have the rare stuff. You have something like Chemtech Duplicator, which duplicates spells after turn 6. Literally the best treasure I have. It's probably the only good treasure I have, actually, honestly. Um, when I survive damage, grant me plus 2, plus 2. I guess that's okay. Evolve when any unit dies, grant me its key words. I'm sure maybe that would be good on this. Probably not even really, honestly. Because we're just so good at generating keywords ourselves anyway. And then you have common stuff, which is little effects like just give it regeneration, which uh, another keyword that we haven't been to, which heals, fully heals a card at the end of every round. I'm just going to give her probably Gwynsaw's Rage Blade. It's just a generic good treasure, honestly. She levels up every time she attacks, essentially. <clears throat> you can get very out of control. And then the thing that I came to explain, which is champion level. See all champion level upgrades. So if you see here, she would have started off at level 1, of course. And then when I got to level 2, my Voidling got the, the Philosopher's Stone. When I got to level 3, my Belveti Alda got the Giant Spell. When I got to level 4, I got plus 5 starting health. When I got to level 5, there's my first support champion pick gets a random item. When I get to level 6, I'm going to get studded leather. When I get to level 7, a big one, I get a revive, which means when I die, I get a second chance. Hallelujah, this is actually a really big one. When I get to level 8, I can have a rare, a rare relic, and also my chance for epic items and powers is increased. Level 10, another big one. Gain every, every fight you heal by 2, and you can also then find legendary powers. As you can see... It goes all the way up to level 30. There's basically a... I have not even got close to level 30 yet. What's my highest champion? Level 22. Oh, actually, I'm kind of close. But as you can see, a lot of pro progression-based stuff, which at first can be scary, but honestly, I actually have started really enjoying it. So you have a bunch of solo mi player missions. Uh, I can open the mission screen here that I've done. They get harder and harder. I'm still even going through these ones and not completed them yet and then every week they have new adventures for you to do which is one of the ones that we're currently doing so here you have weekly adventures and uh, also you have a one star challenge and then you have a four star challenge and you have like a three star challenge as well and you also have monthly challenges i'm not going to go into this but just to get the point right so let's just jump back into our adventure so we're on this one right here but each one has its own special rule uh, active for this one, it's each round the player's first Shroma card costs one less to play. This one has when any player's unit dies, deal one to their nexus. That could that that actually sounds like a really interesting run. And then you also have the player's units have plus one plus one and cost one more for each item on them. Oh my god, that's uh, that sounds interesting as well. And the four star one has oh my god, each round first time the full sum of the unit. So these effects are only for the enemy. So only the enemy is buffed. And this one's giving them like plus six, plus zero every time. Kind of insane. Okay, back to the run. <clears throat> so the next random event is going to be either I can get a spell. I can get a heal, heal. So this is the healer I was talking about. You can either heal there. Or you can cut a card if you've leveled up your legend level enough. Oh my god, I haven't even gone to, into legend level. We're backing out. 
I might as well quickly explain it because it's going it's going to be relevant. Because if you start playing this and you start seeing that I have some stuff you don't, you're gonna be like, what the hell? Why? So legend level is your your overall level. So you have your champion levels that you're leveling individually. Each champion has its own level that are unlocking stuff for that deck. But then you're also earning legendary XP, which is upgrading everything. So you start off at level one. You're very very you're very sad. You're gonna not got much going on. And then when you get to level, oh my god, it actually takes a little while to get some good stuff. You don't even unlock relics to level 5. And then your shop gets upgraded, and then you unlock weekly adventures, and then you unlock uh, rerolls. This is one of the big ones that start helping you get treasures you, you prefer. And at level 10, you can cut cards at healers. Um, level 13, you can buy powers at the shop this is probably the biggest one that makes it run so much better and you get the point right you basically unlock stuff that just goes account wide makes uh, things a bit easier for you the longer you've been playing i suppose <clears throat> i for one pref kind of prefer being under leveled for these things kind of uh makes it more challenging I'm going to go for the spell chest because I want to try and get a slow spell to support the slow treasure we have. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Sleepy Bubble is probably a bit much mana. Problem is the paddle star it creates is fleeting. So fleeting means that it, it disappears at the end of the round. It gets discarded at the end of the round. Which I'm sure you can imagine is not not very useful. Void Blaster is technically a three mana boy. Okay, this is a very good hand, honestly. Especially since everything's gonna be one mana cheaper. We are happy to play this three three, I think. Everything else dies. So for this deck, now that we've we've basically I've basically explained most of it, honestly. There's probably not much more new stuff that's gonna come up, so now we're basically just playing the game. You've gone through the worst of it. If you've reached this far well friggin done because my god i'm sure that was like a mega brain overload for you <clears throat> so the first initial start of the game is probably just about um populating your deck even an aggro even a control deck will just have early minions that they want to play this guy gets barriers divine shield essentially but in this game divine shields only last around so every, if you once the round ends your divine shield disappears which i kind of like honestly because god damn i hate divine shield just now, just trying to get to evolve as fast as possible by playing our cards. We can attack. Everything except this would die though to this, so we're just going to attack with that. Maybe shouldn't even attack because now I just lost two health for no reason. I'm just going to lose barrier anyway, you know. Do I play Zoe? Hmm. Elusive. I think they're actually putting in this Hearthstone. I saw in the recent expansion, elusive as a keyword. Uh, but basically, elusive... What does it say? It says, can only be blocked by an elusive unit. That's probably a pretty good way of explaining it. It's like a keyword that makes it harder to kill. Or really weak cards like this, but you don't want to make this stats too big. But then you don't want to make them too easy to kill. So basically, you can only kill this with a spell or another elusive unit. It's not, it's not as strong as you would think, but it's kind of like if the enemy has a super specific deck type what am i doing i'm just trying to play the play stuff that i've been seeing discard one to invoke a celestial card that costs three or less i don't think i want to discard anything i could maybe discard champion strength but then it's going to be so good when i do finally play i'm just gonna not do anything okay so my three one dies possibly i may have something to say about that uh, these two are actually going to have to die i kind of want to keep my three one alive so I'm going to play Exhaust, a burst spell, so I can play it whenever I want, and he cannot react. So he may have a card, which he probably actually does, which says this card hits, strikes this card. Strike just means like it attacks that card, which would save this card. But because it's a burst spell, he cannot do that. Also, he has no mana, but I'm just saying just for the sake of um, explanation. Another cool mechanic in this is when you have excess mana... It goes into this little slot here. You can have a maximum of three. This is referred to as spell mana. Essentially, it's mana that can only be used on spells. So if I'm if I really wanted to here, which I am actually going to do, I'm going to play this out. 
Oh, we've evolved already? Oh my god, I'm, that was super fast, actually. Um, I can play this on turn 6, basically, is what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to attack with this. No, I'm not. I'm going to attack with this only, because he can't block it. He literally can't block it. And I get a free star chart. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm not going to spend it since I'm saving for my big champion strength pop-off next turn. I really should play these two. I probably will. Oh, he's striking. This is the card I was saying. And I learn enemy strike each other. So he's going to kill my Zoe now. I just have to accept it, to be honest. Oh, he's a power, by the way. I didn't even say what his power is. This is where the barriers are coming from. Is Ran's start. His strongest, his strongest minion gets barrier. It's kind of annoying, honestly. I'm going to play this. Ooh, Moon Silver, I like. Moon Silver, sorry. Should I stun something here before I carry on? Yeah, I'm gonna stun this 4 3. Stun basically means it can't attack this round. Quite useful, honestly. Or just when there's a, there's a minion you really don't wanna block. Got two battle stars. I think I just tanked this. Problem is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to heal. One of the random keywords I can get is lifestyle, but it seems like it's super rare. Oh, I can actually just block stuff, honestly. I'm just going to take the two damage. It is what it is. It also means you don't really need Paddle Star, but I'm going to use it anyway. Do a 5 enemy that has tacked or stunned. Is this guy permanently 4 3? He is. He got plus 2, plus 2 from another, another card. If it's temporary, it says like this round only on it. Let's just kill that then since it's a bit too, getting a bit too big. Thankfully this goes off twice thanks to our amazing effect. Our deck's actually starting to shape up now. It's kind of cool honestly. And then we can discard this card that's going to get discarded anyway. We can take another Moon Sliver. Do I want another Moon Sliver? I think I need another Moon Sliver. Reduce the cost of a card in hand by one. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. And now, it would be nice if we could attack twice. Unfortunately, we cannot attack twice, but we can certainly do this. Watch the size of this board. Oh my golly. I wish everything had overwhelm. We basically would just win here automatically. Fortunately, he can block with barrier and he can block with this, but he still takes a ton of damage. Is he dead? He is still dead. Yeah, he's dead. He is deady. We just, that was, that was, that champion's really paid off. As I said, it would probably help us in these small minion battles. But against the boss, I, I don't think it's going to be useful. <clears throat> this is just, like, outside this game mode, that XP screen there. That's, it, it actually helps you unlock cards in the actual game mode. Um, do I take the slow spell? I mean, it seemed really good there. Honestly, I'm going to take it. I'm starting to get items on my cards. Um... If I put an item on this as well, it'll also give that item to every copy of it in my deck, which is really good. These two are not so good. I mean, this draw unit, I mean, this would be insane card draw. But I don't really want to be reliant on Zoe. I don't want too many Zoe stuff going, going on, to be honest. She's not that strong. She's just like a little filler card, if anything. And we go for the spells chest, or do I go for a heal? I'm go for a spell chest. I'm going to bank on getting lifesteal in one of these, one of these days. This going off twice sounds good to me. A nice little cheap slow spell where that's something we're lacking. It also summons a random follower that costs two. It's kind of nice. Little bonus. Little cheeky bonus. And then we're going to fight the Laurent Duelist. His power is... Round start, create a fleeting single combat in every player's hand. That's the card you saw last round. So he's going to basically be kind of oppressive, honestly, and be killing my stuff quite annoyingly. Thankfully, Voidling draws us cards and is very useful for fulfilling our, our mission, our champion effect. Something we haven't seen yet, Deathless, it's reborn. It's literally reborn. I don't even have to explain any more than that. Comes back with 1 HP. That's it. Nothing more to it. Pretty simple. <clears throat> do I even want a shield vault? I think I do. Let him play something here and then I'll just shield vault. 
And we're pretty happy. I want to give quick attack shield vote. And stun that. And then he won't be able to attack this round. And we get a free little tutu. We get two free tutus. Oh my god, I forgot it would go off twice, honestly. Uh, I don't want my quick attack boy getting damaged here. And now, round start, my strongest ally gets a keyword. Give me life still, bro. Please. I just want life still every day, every night. Okay, we've got Challenger, which actually is really good because now we can make this block. We can force this to block. Um, I could go Void Blaster. I could go Payday. I don't know. I don't think I can get life still in Payday. If you've forgotten, it lets me pick a random buff. But sometimes they're not even keywords. I'm just going to go for the guaranteed keyword on this 4-4. Uh, Pretty good stats on this as well. Okay, and we can attack with these two. If he blocks, he loses it. He does not block. He re maintains it. Retains it. I've been strength is sitting here as well. Do I win another game off of champion strength? I wonder if I just want to, like... Because we've done really well early game here. We could potentially just go, like, autopilot mode on this game and just stall it out until we get lifesteal and just heal to full. Cheesy thing to do. But I'll be honest with you, it is difficult enough that it's worth doing. <sighs> so that you have full health for the boss. And also at healers, you preferably want to cut a card to make your deck more streamlined. I should probably just summon my champion, right? But she's not really helping me get evolved is the thing. She's good stats and I can give her like quick attack and challenger. Oh wait, you're right. I can give her quick attack and challenger. Alright, let's play her. They're having a little interaction there between one another. Kind of cool. Okay, we lose two boys here to Challenger. Oh, I lose. The oh, I can't give her Challenger now. Damn it. That kind of sucks, honestly. I can give a Deathless, actually, which is kind of nice. Reborn is pretty good. So, whenever I get the attack token, she'll give me a second skin and she'll get a random keyword. She got Overwhelm. Cool. I think now is a good time to play Payday as well, since we're basically getting double buff off of this. Let me buff this guy. What does he want? Challenger. Challenger is definitely the better pick here, but I should take Spell Shield because that will help me get too evolved. 5 out of 6. Also, Spell Shield is just really good. Don't sleep on Spell Shield. Negating it for, Like, if he plays this single combat against it, it will survive. It's killing my 4 2 with this 3 1. But I have a single combat of my own. So what I can do is say, how about no? I'm killing your 3-1 with my 5-5. Five five. And now this will be cancel out. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of annoying to give that barrier, honestly, because I was going to quickly just ping it. Ping it down. Ah, oh, we can't really attack anything without life still, without losing it. So we shall not. Zoe is probably fine. Timeline, we're sure to save do I just champion strength, maybe? Maybe I do. Then I'm just going to try and save three mana so I can champion strength next round. Oh no, that's not good. Um, computer says no. Sir? Hey, I think we've basically won this. He's only got three cards in hand. Once they, usually once they have no cards in hand you've been, and you've killed their board, I mean, as in any game, you've basically won. Let's just void seek this. A little deal one damage. I can't wait till I get, well, I can wait, but when I get to level 13, 14, this girl gets plus two damage, which is kind of nice. And he plays a 5-5, five five, which we will just stun. can't play the paddle star unfortunately oh i wanted to save mana didn't i i think if i don't play anything else i should be able to play champions rally i think it's turn seven next turn plus my two excess yes i was correct we so we should win here but i kind of want to keep going for it to get life still since i've i've got complete control here she got regen there the life still symbol is very similar so i had a brief like um oh yay moment Oh my god, we've got so many big minions now. Do I just go autopilot mode? Try and get, um...
try and get what I want. Hmm. It's too late. You I'm gonna go to pilot mode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try for like two rounds. I'm gonna wait two rounds, and if I don't get live still by two rounds, I'm gonna just GG. This guy copies another person's keywords, so it'll be Dark Champion. It's very good. An ally and an enemy strike each other, you say? So this guy is tough. Oh my god, I can't believe we haven't seen tough yet. It's like one of the most common keywords. Tough means they take minus one damage from everything. So here he's only going to take four. So I was just looking at my minions to see what would give make him take... Four, five, six, seven, three damage. So I need something with four attack. This is basically the only thing we can do. Our minions still... Both these minions now die, but it's probably worth it to kill a 7-7 seven, seven with tough, honestly. Wait, what? 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 Oh, because she had spell shield, it didn't go off. Right, okay. Let's give her a challenger, why not? Adapting my we can still kill it thanks to challenger, though. I am the oh, wrong way around. There we go. I'm coming for you. Oh, wait, no. Did I affect minus the game? No, it didn't. Okay, cool. She's only dealing like five off of her effect, honestly. <clears throat> her effect is not so game winning, it's just like little ping damage. Yeah, a lot of heroes have effects that are much more like the deck is super reliant on them. Like one has every time you kill a unit, like you'll heal two, another one will summon every round, it'll summon a unit that is super vital to your deck. Stuff like that, basically. Did we get any life still? We did not because we do not have the attack token. Let's see if Zoe, maybe, with her random card generation, can give us something. Are you actually just going to kill Zoe? What the hell, dude? That's uncool, bro. Get wrecked. Um, Lucky Fine, maybe, could give me life steal. I don't think it can, but I'm hoping it can. I'm hoping if I give her enough keywords that the only keyword left is life steal. Quick attack, okay. I think we've... What other keyword is there? I'm trying to think. Let's see. No, basically got everything, I think. I think the only keyword left is life still. So maybe we just wait one more round. Oh no, elusive. Alright, I need to give her elusive. Oh no, he ended the round. I need to give her elusive. That's another keyword. And augment. Oh my god, you're right. I am right. Both of these. Oh, but I've lost my second skin now. I've done a big whoopsie, honestly. I can't believe I've done this. He's gonna do single combat. I should have waited. I knew he was gonna do it anyway. I should have waited. And now we can't get elusive or augment. Oh gosh. Feels bad, man. I messed up there. These double spells are really nice. But I mean, if I just had the, the item on my champion, the same thing would be happening. But I guess they'd be going off three times in that case, which is really insane. Grant an ally. Is this an ally? Yeah. Uh, I don't really need it, honestly. Uh, this, by the way, whenever you have a... You can only have one... You can only play one champion. You can cheese out second copies, but in terms of playing from your hand, you can only play one. And if you already have a champion, they turn to like a special spell that they that is assigned to their champion. And in her case, it's this. Did we get life still? We got fury. Oh god. Okay, I give up. I give up. I give up. I'm not waiting another round. <clears throat> Defeat fury. By the way, the one that just came at the end is whenever you kill a minion, you get plus one, plus one. There's actually a ton of keywords in this game, honestly. And now we get to visit a shop, which is super nice. Oh, first we get an item. Hmm. This heals me. Oh, that's really good, actually. I need the heals. Maybe if there was a slow spell, it would be a decision. But because I have so many of these already in my deck, I just like the fact that I'm improving the overall quality of my deck. What is this thing? It's like an alien. Okay, and now we get to visit my first shop. Yay. 
So, first thing first, we buy a power. It's pretty bad power. I'm going to reroll it. Nope, even worse. <laughs> okay, well, I have the treasure on my uh, person that gives me extra rerolls, so I, I'm going to reroll again. Nab one. Oh, God. Nab? I don't think Nab is a keyword. Nab's like an effect. It has to be written on the card. I don't think it's a keyword. But you just steal something from the enemy's deck. I don't want to waste another reroll. Reason being is we, we get like um We get after you've killed the first boss, you get to pick a second power. So I would rather save my reroll for that. Because they the quality of those powers tends to be higher. But I don't even want sticky fingers, honestly. It's, it feels bad, but maybe I'll get like some cool slow spells from doing it. You know what? Let's just try it out. I do worry about my hand being full of random stuff, but oh well. A spark fly, which ordinarily I would say is terrible, but it has life still and it gets plus four plus zero, but it can't block. But oh my god, plus four plus zero. It's actually terrible against the boss. The boss has a lot of ways to deal two damage, but I'm going to take it anyway. This improves the card I own and so does this. I don't really want more of these in my deck, I'll be honest with you. It's not the best card. It's very reliant on already having a good card on the board. So I'm going to take a random one cost Paro. Paro is just like a... It's like the it's like Murlocs in Hearthstone. It's like a uh, a meme minion type. Um, they're these little cute furballs. So I take Quake. Quake could be really good against the boss. I'm thinking to myself. You know what? I'm going to take it. Because the boss has a lot of low health minions. And we charge with the healer. So I can either take any card out of my deck. Which honestly I would love to get rid of this and this. Uh, maybe even... Yeah, probably just these two honestly. But I think I'm going to heal because I know how hard this boss is about to be. Our run might be over here. You know, until I get to level 7 at least and I get a revive. Oh, Ezreal is all about, like, pingy spell damage, and he just generates himself and it's absolute insane amount of cards. Look, here's his effect. The foes spells cost one. Oh my god. Round start, he gets a fleeting static shock. Static shock, you'll see what it is. He's definitely going to play it because it costs one, and he, and he, yeah. And if he's leveled up his champion, he gets a true shot barrage instead, so... Against this guy, you just want to kill his champion anytime you see it. The problem is his champion comes out like turn two. And you need a very cheap removal to get rid of it. Something our deck kind of lacks, honestly. I might keep Ice Quake to kill his champion. If we're not dead by the time I can play it. This is the trouble with a very early minion based deck. Is I know that here's his champion. For some reason it shows you the champion and that's Static Shock here. Yeah. Deal one to an enemy into the enemy nexus, which at first die doesn't seem that bad, but then it also draws him a card. And he can play it every single turn for one mana. So he's going to play this next turn. He also has plus one mana, I don't know if you've noticed. He has one more mana than me. I think all the enemies have one more mana than me. Um, Kind of uh, feels bad, man. You can get plus one mana. But you have to get your champion to star level 2. There's also a whole star system which I haven't even explained. I'll explain it maybe after this match. Let's see if we win first. <clears throat> right, we can't really do much else. I, I was basically pondering if I should save the one mana for Icequake. But I don't think it's, don't think it's worth it. Let's just attack with this. Oh, I stole a card. Right, I forgot. I forgot that was a thing. <clears throat> he creates poison in my deck. As I said, he's just about pingy damage. So him himself, his whole effect is he's elusive. And whenever he hits my um, my face, he gets a mystic shot, which is deal two to anything. And once he's targeted enemies eight times, he levels up into his ultimate level up mode very cool and once he's leveled up whenever he plays a spell he deals one to my nexus or two if he's targeted a minion so for obvious reasons kind of insane 
For obvious reasons, I'm going to stun this mother trucker. So he can't attack. Oh, it's fleeting anyway, actually. I could have probably taken the damage. I'll do it for the minions, let's say. So I really need a way to kill this guy right now. Literally no other way than... Um, where did I just get this from? I got it from this, okay. Forge an ally. Forge is like a, a whole other deck. It just gives a minion plus one, plus one. Or it gives equipment plus one, plus one. And equipment is another card type that we haven't seen. It's not the most common card type. But basically you can... It's like a... It's a buff. And you put it on a minion. From, you pay mana, it goes on a minion. And the opponent gets a turn and then it goes back to you. And then when that minion dies, it returns to your hand. So it's like a buff that returns to your hand, basically. I'm gonna not... Um, I might as well just attack with everything, I guess. Nothing to lose here. I think the only two cards in my whole deck that can deal with this are the vulnerable one. That gives him vulnerable. And mines to attack and ice quake. So I'm going... Oh my god, look at this. It's just killing everything. This deals three to a unit. Okay, he deals two to that. He does one to that. And then he deals three to that. And then he attacks that. Okay. Damn, Daniel. So if I save... Why is this five? Oh, plunder. Cost three less. So another th effect is plunder. Plunder means if you've hit the opponent's face this round, it activates an effect. So in this case, if I hit the opponent's face, this costs three less. So if next turn... I can deal damage to the opponent's face, which I can't. I already know I can't. Then I could play this. No, I can play this next turn anyway, actually. Because even at 8 mana, I'll have 3 spell mana. And I'll have 4, 5, 6, 7. Ah, oh, my maths. <laughs> I thought it was turn 5. But it's probably a good thing, honestly, because maybe he'll just play a bunch more minions. Which is good for us. And maybe I just do this, because why not? I get two minions from it to block, and I stun this so he can't attack my face. This is probably the best I've done against this boss, honestly. Normally I'm on, I'm on like 10 health by now. Things are going well. And the fact that I know I have this insurance right here is very good. But I need to kill him before he levels up. Because once he's leveled up, then he's going to be playing a true shot barrage every turn. And this does 3, 2, and 1 damage, which is actually going to flatten us so i need to make sure i can play ice quick next turn um which shouldn't be too hard we just have to only spend two mana here easy peasy probably should have played the elder honestly never mind i would have just died apparently actually i wouldn't have because of spell shield okay i we really keep this now we can kill his ezreal do I greed it? I could greed here and let him play some more minions before I ice quake. The problem is that he might have another Ezreal in hand. Also, I just noticed we drew vulnerable. Oh, this has another thing, another effect, not a keyword, an effect. So I'm saying effect and keyword separately on purpose here because they are two different things. A keyword is like this, an effect is like. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything comparable in Hearthstone? I don't know. Anyway, uh, this guy has support, so a lot of cards have this, which is basically when they attack, the opponent to the right of them gets something. In this case, it gets plus one, plus one. And then we can challenge this, force a challenge on it. Do I want to forge an ally? I'm actually going to forge this just to make sure it doesn't die. Oh, we can even do another one. Maybe spell shield? Spell shield? Quick attack. Mm, well, sure. Might be relevant. Hopefully this dies and be so sad if it doesn't. Knowing this guy, he could probably kill this. Oh, he can't. Nice. Okay, that's really good, actually. He might just play another Ezreal, though, which would suck. Ooh, this is really good. When I'm summoned, refill two spell mana. This needs to die. It's making all these spells do one extra damage. Okay, 
Okay, still got Ice Quake, but I'm just wondering if he plays an Ezreal, does it just level immediately at this point? There's the Ezreal. It doesn't level immediately, which means I should do this so that he can't level because he literally just has to play this one spell and it levels. And let's pray to God he does not have another Ezreal in his hand. If he does, I'm going to be so sad. That is not an Ezreal. Oh, I should have checked what keyword. Oh man, that's not a good keyword. I didn't need that keyword. Okay, he attacks. So thankfully, I'm going to get some healing off of Sparkfire. And I can copy the lifesteal. Ooh, we could copy lifesteal. That's really good, actually. This might win us the game. But I need this to live is probably the bigger issue. Do I, If I wait one more turn, I can play both of these. So I think I might, I'm going to do that. It means I'm just wasting this whole turn, though. Which maybe I regret. Would re will regret, rather. Oh, this heals me as well. Huh. Decisions, decisions, man. Let me see what he plays. I'll just play this out and then see what he does. Unsmith. Okay, we can kill that. We can kill that. We've got something to do this round. That's all that matters. I think the card art in this game is really nice as well. And these spell effects are cool. It can be a bit too blingy sometimes, but overall, I really like it. Okay. We just pass. He does have some high damage right now, honestly. I'm a little bit scared as if we're going to be able to do what I want to do. I think I just heal off of this. The thing is that if I play this now... He might be able just to hit it. I don't want to risk just passing either. This is elusive. It could block. I could just use this just to pull up, just to block. Um, you know what? Let's just use this to block. Because that way I can play this and also give this elusive. Which then I can block again. Which is very nice. And I heal 5 off of this. Okay, does he do it? He does, he attacks. Okay, um... Oh, I can also copy the keyword off of this. I think I leave that alive in that case. Oh, I should probably kill this. Yeah, I probably should. Why is this level 5-5? Five, five? Plus 2, plus 2, while aura is in effect. What aura is in effect? Sometimes I don't even know where the buffs come from, honestly. God knows. Anyway, we've got Fury. Okay. So, I can now play Sparkle Fly, and even if he kills it, I can copy the Porobot instead. It doesn't kill it, but it kills these two, which is honestly uh, as annoying. <laughs> oh my god, the Hive Herald heal is keeping me alive right now. Look how low. I would have been on like 5 HP if I didn't have be able to play both of those. Ooh, he unfortunately blocks one of these. Probably kills a 7-4, I would imagine. But the 5-5 five five gets to live till next turn. Ooh, I get a power back. Not even good, but still. Oh my god, we're back at full HP. Very nice. Thing is, as soon as he top decks in Ezra, we're kind of uh, worried again. Also, he's got a very lots of minions here, and we very have not lots. Much words. Oh my gosh, he's hitting me. He's hitting me! <clears throat> I think I should kill these. They can actually spiral out of control. Oh man, stop killing my stuff, bro. It's actually really uncool. I really do not appreciate. Let's try and get Kai'Sa for our next card. Honestly, we need a... Ooh, no Kai'Sa, but Champion Strength. I think it's super strong as well. I can actually attack twice here, which is kind of nice. Thing is, one of these dies the first time I attack. B 
because he probably deals damage to this and then Lux as well. Could do this because it has tough, so I don't know if it will die. If we could regret this, this could backfire, honestly. This could easily backfire. He could just kill like all of these, and then I can't even champion strength. Because he's going to get another turn after this. Because that was his react phase, now he gets his phase, but thankfully he wastes it on just summoning some trash. So we can do this. Oh my gosh, the champion's rally has actually paid off with the boss as well, which is really nice. The nab one, by the way, has not been as bad as I thought it was going to be, and now we're going to get four cards from his deck. In this game, by the way, oh, oh no, it's per attack, not per minion. Okay, oh my god, we won. In this game, by the way, if you run out of cards, like, you literally just lose the match. There's no fatigue or anything, just as soon as your deck hits zero, you lose. That's actually something I don't like, if I'm honest with you. It kind of feels lame sometimes. It very rarely happens, but... In this game mode, it can happen, like, right at the start, when you have, like, a small deck, if you take too long kill it, killing the opponent. Especially if you're, like, you're under-leveled and you're versing a strong opponent. So, after killing this guy, we get a, an extra item for our champion. Um... Which is good. I think I'll give her barrier because I think it counts as a keyword. Pretty sure, but then we've never got it off of any of the things, so maybe it doesn't. Huh. Or we can just give Zoe this. She'll cost two, but she will not die. And she'll maybe actually level up. But I don't want like loads of Zoe's, but she's a pretty good early game card. You know what? I'm going to do it. And it'll at least make a... What well, is currently a filler card and actually useful card. Dude, we, we won that with, with max health. Oh my god, that's actually crazy. And now we see our second power. Ooh, we got an epic. Game starts on an hex deck observatory. So there's landmarks are like a card type that's it's it fills a minion slot, but it's not a minion. It's just a it's a building that has a special effect. Um I'm sure people who play Magic the Gathering are familiar. Each round, the first, I'm, I'm surprised this sort of thing is not in Hearthstone yet, honestly. I guess they kind of do, but they usually just put them in like 0, 3 minions and stuff, or like really low us minions. But the thing about these is you can't kill them with like ordinary minion killing stuff. You need specifically landmark killing stuff. I guess they've kind of done it with locations, actually. Maybe. That's the thing I would compare them to in Hearthstone, at least. Each round, the first time you play a spell, refill mana equal to its cost. Um, which currently maybe not insane. Actually, it is. We have a lot of spells. You know, I was going to say we, we, with more spells it would be insane, but we do have a decent amount of spells since we've already been building to towards slow but steady. And now our next opponent. So this here is actually another power. But to get to it, you have to fight. A really difficult enemy. They're plus 10 health, plus 1 mana, and plus 1 hand size. It's not worth it, in my opinion, honestly, because you might just get some trash treasures. Um, I don't even think I've explained. I mean, you've probably noticed you get a choice of the person you attack, and then it, it, it decides what you can pick next. So, for example, at the start here, we had item, heal, item, heal, spell. So if I went this way, I would not have been able to get the spell. And if I went that way, I would not have been able to get the item. I'm sure you gathered already, but it's thought I'd explain. This guy has, when the foe summons an elite, elite is a minion type. Grant it plus two, plus one. Oh god, this this could be interesting. Maybe we could get aggroed here. Okay. Sparklefly I like, honestly. I don't think this guy will have much elusive stuff to combat it. I might keep Kaiser for once, maybe. She's only four mana, I need to remember. She's not terrible. Oh, there's our two mana Zoe. There's a one mana, two mana, three, five. Yeah, so all these guys are plus one mana to me. Oh no, I was supposed to back out and explain star, star levels. I'll do it after this match. If I remember. Zoe. Yeah, I think Elusive might just win us the game here. I also should remember I can play my first spell for free. Ooh. This going off twice is kind of nice. End round. I think we need to stun this. Probably is going to be our free spell for the turn. It's dangerous out there. Take this. 
And maybe we kill it. Since we've got the mana to anyway. Yeah, I think I kill it and then I'll just buff Zoe with this. Let me buff Zoe first so that maybe I can block with her. Slow spells as well, you can only play one at a time. Fast spells, you can play like a bunch of them at once, but slow spells is one at a time. This is a lot of minions actually. Maybe I don't kill this. Maybe I just play a blocker out. Nah, this is going to be a problem going forward. I, I can feel it in my bones. Oh my god, she's a 10 6. My golly. We just have to tank it. I don't want to risk Zoe dying here, honestly. I think we'll just win off of Zoe. We won't even need Kaiser. This is what I love as well about this deck. is a, a card that was seemingly just filler just becomes, okay, I've got enough items on it and enough stuff on it now that it's just going to win me the game. What is her other item? I, I constantly keep forgetting what her first item is. Oh, it gives her augment. Okay, cool. All right. We just heal. We just heal the damage. Oh my god, he's dead next turn. I could play this or I could play this. I think we play this. You want the um, free minion. Another slow spell. Hmm. I would give this to my fly, but my fly can't block anyway, so what difference does it make? I just take the one mana minion. Or cheap blockers. Hmm. So if this was fast, I could play a minion now, but because this is slow, I know I need to play this first. Kind of lame, honestly. Makes sense from a strategy point of view though. Makes some spells stronger than others. Oh god. Maybe I can discover something off of this that can help me. Oh, stun two enemies would be great. <laughs> two seconds ago. One turn ago even rather. I'll take it for next turn. Am I dead? I'm currently dead. You need to block. I can't block with this, I'm taking a lot of damage here. <clears throat> Ouchies. We do win next turn though, I should bear that in mind, honestly. But I don't know if I want to win next turn. Because I'm going to be winning and be left with 10 health, which might mean I lose the next game. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Oh, got impact. Impact is another one. There's so many, dude. <laughs> this is a very simple one, though. Whenever the card attacks, it deals one to the opponent. It's kind of... Pretty... Oh, ooh, we can heal even more. Okay, let's just heal up. Heal up, boy. Nice. Where did this get plus two, plus two from? Oh, it evolved. Oh, it grants the other person the keywords as well. Oh, that's really good, actually. Do we think? Do we think we should just win here? I only I healed twelve. This honestly is still pretty good. I'm just gonna heal. I'm just gonna win. We could heal a bit more, maybe, but then there's also the chance that we take more damage. Although since he's got one card in hand, maybe not. Maybe I would have been okay, but it's fine. It's only eight. Eight health less than max. Okay. This deck is actually starting to feel super strong. Isn't that just what these duels like game modes are all about? I super like that this is single player as well. Um, because it means they don't have to worry too much. Oh, this gets two double. I get four followers off this one card. Four minions off of one card. That is insane. Insanely good. Uh, we have some free gold here. And a shot. I kind of like that this is single player, honestly, because it means I can just like play it and then like even if halfway through a game I just need to go do something or to stop playing I can and then come back to it. I think if you like leave it for like an hour, it does, it resets to like before you, it takes you back out to this screen. But if you put it down for like 20 minutes, I think you can like go straight back into the uh, 
or in card battle card fight you're in okay this plus one damage i kind of want but let's see what power we got first when you summon a champion summon an exact ephemeral copy of it this is mediocre we'll just take it anyway i'm not gonna waste a reroll what am i even saving my rerolls for now i don't even know i'm gonna fill the, my deck with these since this goes off twice plus one damage is pretty good honestly Nothing else I really want. Am I going to get another shot before the boss? So this is the final boss here. When the foe plays a champion, grant their other units plus two, plus two. Oh my god. Her effect, by the way, is to attack and then return to the to his hand. So he's going to be constantly playing a champion. It's kind of scary, honestly. So I'm going to get a shop here. The minimum of power can cost is 200. So I think I get 100 per match. Hopefully i be able to get something from there. This guy's units all have regen. And this guy summons a 2-1 challenger every round. But I want the shop. Could take the fight, honestly. It might be free keywords, but we're not even winning off keywords at this point. We're winning off of spells and slow stuff. So <laughs> I don't even need the keywords anymore. I just need life still, honestly. The keyword stuff is very much old news now. We're just about shield bolts and sparkle flies now. We're a Zoe deck. We basically turned into a Zoe deck, honestly. Um I could make a lucky find. Is the lucky find fleeting? No. So I could play Zoe next turn and then just lucky find her, which I kind of like. Keep her alive as much as possible. <clears throat> We've not even leveled her up yet, have we? No. Spell shield sounds good. Oh, it is fleeting. Ah, oh, I didn't even say that on the original thingy. Not absolutely wasted at least. Maybe we can give this plus spawn plus one or something. No. We'll fulfill our evolve. In that case. Anyway, Zoe. Oh, you son of a gun. And then we Zoe. Oh, I had spell shield. Nice. Oh, I get two. Of course I do. And then he does not attack because he's scared. He doesn't want to get the um, minion killed by the ephemeral, which is fair. Okay, and then we stun this. I'll oh, grant an ally first and then stun this. Commit. Even though I'm probably going to challenge this with the exhaust, maybe. And then I get four minions, by the way. <laughs> One of them just... Burnt itself. You only have six cards. Um, and then we do this. And then we do this. Um, enlightened. I doubt we're going to get to Enlightened. Enlightened is another effect that when you get to 10 mana, it gets a bonus. So at 10 mana, this would be a 6-6, six, six, for example. Oh, we can just do that. That makes more sense. I think we're actually just gonna smush this guy, honestly. It's it's starting to look look that way. Do you want it? Everything. Okay. Kills quite a, two things, I guess. Not bad. We've evolved already. Oh my god, that was fast. I guess because she has like 10 billion things on her. Mm, we can play a sparkle fly, why not? We need the healings. And then we can hive herald, maybe? Nope. We can Kaiser though, which is just as good. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Should be able to heal to full, honestly. Yeah, I can give Kaiser life still quite easily next round. Uh, presuming my sparkle fly doesn't die, of course. But dude, we have just destroyed this guy, honestly. He's not even gonna attack. <laughs> uh, I almost, almost feel bad. <clears throat> Almost. Uh, I'm just trying to think what's more important. I think Lyst is probably the most important here. I just want to heal and smash. Adapting my and then we can not play that because I do not have enough mana. Boom. Boom. He can't even block these. He can't even block. And that's it. Heal to full. I'm coming for you. We're getting a lot of slow spells off of this snap. It's been better than, much better than I thought it would have been, honestly. 
I think the fact that it only goes off once makes it a lot better. I, I was thinking that for every minion that would attack, I would just get my hand filled with spells, but thankfully it has not worked in that way. That's a power, by the way. Um, that's a big power. Usually they're very small and circular. Uh, let's see what this is. Charger, sure. How is she not leveled up yet? Six out of ten. Don't even need her to level up, but still, I'm surprised she hasn't. Heals. And now we just win off of. Ch oh wait, no, no man. Somebody's not in my head. around like turn ten, probably because of my board is so huge. Um. We're actually going to have to lose a couple of things here. It's not safe. Thank god he had no spells. I was a bit worried I might lose my Kaiser there if he just had a buff or something. And then we do this. Which one? Ip dip do. I'll take the life steal. Ah, oh, dude, I love this deck. It's so fun, honestly. Super fun deck. It's just, I love just all the collecting all the random keywords. <laughs> it's the best. And we win. Now we win. These opponents are really bad against Elusive, it has to be said. Oh my gosh, very nice. But smush. He's not even going to bother to block because he knows he's just been destroyed. There you go. Good AI. He went out like a like a champion. Oh yeah. Whew. If I want to give this plus one plus three, more importantly, it puts more of these in my deck. This makes the enemy discard something. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. It's also free. And it can give me uh, some useful spells, maybe, like the stun two enemies one that I got. Shop. Give me something good, bro. When you target an ally, give it barrier this round. Interesting. And then in the shop, any good slow spells? No. So, I mean, this is not terrible. We target it with a couple of things. We've got the stun one that summons us four minions. We've got our payday that targets it as well. I think that's it. When you target an ally, so it includes non-spells, so Hive Herald, for example, would activate that as well. Presumably, she would also give herself barrier because it gives her barrier, then it copies it. I think the important thing is, does anything low cost trigger it i don't think so only shield vault hmm i'm gonna re-roll this mm, probably just as bad honestly when i draw card give allies plus one plus zero this round i'm just gonna take it since we don't really want anything from here and then we can cut a card here I think I get rid of Spacey Sketcher, right? Honestly, could make, I could also get rid of Chronomancer. At least Spacey Sketcher is like a cheap block and she also gives me a card. But then I have to discard to get that card. Um, It's between these two, definitely. Hip, dip, do. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the Chronomancer. No, the boss. Ready for trouble. This is a very aggressive bot, uh, champion at least. I've not I've not faced this specific boss version of this boss before, but this champion is very aggressive, so a bit worried about that. Okay, Void Seeker could be good here. Zoe could be good here. Don't know if they can deal with elusive. I think this this is a very minion based deck, and I don't think any of her minions are elusive as she is. Two mana. Normally she costs three, but he's got minus one cost on it as an item. Has he already summoned it? Oh my god, he's already summoned it. And he's already smacked my face. <laughs> yep, and she's already leveled up, as I said, very aggressive. So, 
The base form is when I'm summon create a blades edge. Blades edge is just a one one mana deal one to anything anything. <clears throat> but more importantly is when she's struck once, she levels up, but then she also returns to his hand. But then whenever he summons her, she not only has quick attack, she has four four damage, but more importantly, she rallies every time she's summoned, which is kind of crazy. Right. We play Zoe. Not much else we can do. Maybe we can void seek it? Oh, you silly monkey. He played it. He bloody played it. Huh? 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 Oh, I have to be evolved for this to be able to target a champion. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Thankfully, we have exhaust, even though I know he has another Katrina in hand. This is another Katrina. Let's just turn into the spell. Okay, we can do this at least. That's kind of annoying, actually. Makes me not wish. That makes me wish I had not put so many in my deck. Could maybe kill it with like Sleepy Trouble Bubble, or at least stop it from attacking. That way, it stays on the board. And we can maybe uh, do something with it. I don't know. Oh, we are definitely shield vaulting. Yes, shield vault for the win. I wish I took the barrier. Honestly, it was way better than the uh, card draw. Nice, dude. That's such a strong card for us. That's another thing I love about this. More than duels. I actually like this more than duels. Like just a, a silly little card like that two mana. Shield Vault can just turn into like you're literally the strongest card in my deck. Oh, I wish I had the Paddle Star. Oh wait, I could have had the Paddle Star because um, I refill my spell mana every time I cast my first spell. Okay, next turn I can kill this Katarina. That means and maybe that's just GG. I don't know how we can come back from that. This might hurt. You you do money. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, he should just be dead. As I said, it's a very minion based deck. I don't think he's running much like techy stuff that would stop this from dying. I think we have achieved OPness. Yeah. Oh, um. Yeah, I know how that sounded. We have achieved being OP. Okay, that's stun. That's I'm not really going to save him though. It's just going to delay, delay his demise. Or her demise, rather. <laughs> Skadoosh, mother trucker. <laughs> no one's the wiser. I don't want to waste on that. Tough, yes. I'm disappointed. I mean, I'm not disappointed. Thankfully, we had the right cards. Because if we did not have that paddle star, this could be a very different story right now. Thankfully, we drew into the right card. The amount of times I've put like those sort of cards in my deck just to deal with the bosses, and then on the when the boss comes, I've just not drawn the card I need, is very high. Have we evolved yet? We're four out of six. Okay. Have we just, have we won? There is actually another keyword we haven't seen yet. It's called double attack. It's like a super rare keyword. It's like a game winning keyword. Basically they attack twice. Um, since we haven't seen it, it's, it's on like super specific decks. <clears throat> Deathless, we have not seen Deathless. Does this win me the game? I think I, I just, I already could have won the game. I forgot my other one has elusive as well. This one has elusive, I forgot. But at least we leveled up Zoe before we... Uh... Oh, it gives she gives everything a keyword? What? When you summon ally, grant his keyword all allies. All right, and I summon this. Anyway. GG, mate. Oh my gosh, we smushed this boss. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that deck turned out so well, honestly. I'm glad that turned out super well. Oh, that was super fun, bro. Well, that's been Path of Champions. 
Legends of Runeterra. Before I go, I need to explain star powers. Oh my god, I forgot. You're right. And we get a bunch of champion XP, and presumably we'll be at least level 7, and I'll get my revive on this champion, which will be very nice. What do we level up to? Yay, we got level 7. Nice. And then you get legend points for winning the adventures, and you get a vault, which gives you... Um, Basically tokens to unlock other champions. <clears throat> so we got from this, we got... Oh, we got a relic, actually. Cool. It's actually a decent relic. Spell shield is very good. Especially on those, like, Zoe-type minions that are super early. That can be very vulnerable to spells. And, yeah. So these other ones that are, like... They're, like, kind of, like, story mode-ish. Wouldn't really say so. But they basically do the same thing. You beat them. But they have more specific... Um, win requirements so you can ha you have to win them with champions from certain regions so the reason i'm actually leveling this kaiser right now is to do this one because i have to beat this with a champion from shurima and she's my only one from shurima i'm not gonna go too into that let me just explain star powers to you before i disappear so star powers as well as leveling up your champion you also have star powers the difference between leveling up your champion and star powers is star powers requires tokens which you can only get from the chest, for example, that we saw at the end of that run. Which are much harder to get than just playing and leveling. So champion level is just from playing the adventures. Star powers you get from the actual rewards at the end of the adventures. You need to get the unlock tokens. And then you level them up. So let me go to a zero star champion. Do I have one? I do. So I have Needly here who I've not played at all. She's currently zero stars. And if underneath her you see it says zero out of ten. So you can either get, frag uh, you see this one says 5 out of 10, this one says 0. You can either get fragments that are specific to the champions. Or you can get wired fragments, which can be used on anything. These are a bit harder to get. There is a daily quest every day where you can get 4. So I wouldn't say that they're super hard to get. And then sometimes in those vaults you'll get wired fragments, like 10 of them or something. Um, and when you get that, you get to star up your champion. So needily example needs 10 to be starred up i already spent 10 on kaiser now what does the first star up do the first star up gives your champion their first power so leonov right now has no current passive power but if i start her up every game i would then get this power allies have daybreak grab me plus one plus one daybreak is a un completely a other effect which is that uh, it's gets a bonus if it's the first card played we're not ever going to go into that, though. And Kaiser, for example, before I started her up, did not have this thing that was giving me keywords every other round, which is very nice. And then when I get 20 tokens, or I spend 20 wild tokens to start up again, I will then get plus one starting mana. And allies with three plus positive keywords get an additional plus two plus two. So my minions will be even bigger, but more importantly, honestly, this is just... This is the one that like makes runs so much easier. You having an extra mana, honestly, it makes it's surprising how much of a difference it makes. And once you've got to two star, I only have three times that two star. These were honestly just very luckily just getting specific character tokens. To four champions, honestly, this guy I thought was trash, but once I starred him up, he was insane, bro. Um. I'm going to go for a simpler one though. So Mordekaiser, for example, first he had every other round similar to Kaiser. If he has the attack token, he would make a two cost indestructible, which gives my minions deathless. His whole thing is based around deathless. And then his second one was whenever a minion is revived off of IE off of deathless, it gets plus two attack and overwhelm. And then if I start him up again, he would he now does it every round rather than every other round so the third star up honestly is not that important in my opinion i mean i haven't got one to three star yet obviously it will make a difference but for me the two star is like the big one i like i could be i have be in fact a four star challenge with this two star hero so for me getting to the two star is more important but this is all probably complete gibberish to you I'm very surprised if anyone got it this far. If you have, you know what, bro, bravo to you. I will clap, but I don't want to murder your ears. I hope you enjoyed, honestly. This game mode, Legends of Runeterra, I've never really been able to get it because into it because it's just so intimidating. 
um, especially online. There's just so many cards, and it's hard to get into a card game like this when you've come in late. Although saying that, I did play Room Terror on release. It just didn't mesh for me. But this game mode, honestly, has just got me playing it every single day at the moment. Any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, um, and I will answer them. I'm by no means an expert on this. I just wanted to show it to you guys since I know all my viewers are Hearthstone and duels enjoyers specifically. I with duels going away, very sad. I thought, you know what, why don't I show people an alternative that I've been finding super fun. Hope you've enjoyed, guys. And if you want to see more as well, let me know. Oh my god, we completed a quest and we got 5,000 legend points. That is a lot of legend points. And what do we get? Another relic. When you get bonus, you get Stardust, which is basically to craft other relics. And you get quests as well, actually, I should show you. It's like little milestones. To, it kind of gives you like a little pointer in like what you should do. Um, reach two stars with four champions, reach three stars with one champion, complete all chapter five quests. So this, for example, is a chapter five quest. Um, and then you get a really, really good rewards. Loads of champion XP and really, this is like, gonna contain some crazy stuff this is a platinum platinum very 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 nice platinum is but yeah thank you for watching see you next time peace out